Hello, it's Nick, and today I want to show you how to create an animated mesh gradient effect in Figma. I will use this gradient as a visual reference for my design. The first thing that I want to do is to create blobs. Blobs are simple geometric objects. I will generate blobs using a Figma plugin called Blobs. This plugin tends to randomize the shape of a blob, but you can play with the settings like complexity and uniqueness if you want to create something different. Once I created 5 different blobs, I will arrange them close to each other. And it's time to add a color to my simple geometric objects. I will use the same colors as my visual reference. Ok, it's time to add a frame for my design. Since I'm designing a mobile screen, I will use a frame for iPhone 15 Pro. What we need to do next is to select our blobs and put them inside the newly created frame. So you can see the left panel that all our vectors are now inside the frame. Let's quickly align them to fill all the space of the frame so we don't have any white space in between. Be sure to set clip content for your frame. Otherwise your vectors will extend the frame. Let's select all vectors and scroll down to Effect section in the right panel. Click Add and select Layer Blur and change blur settings to 200. Now the gradient looks similar to our visual reference. Now it's time to create a component. We will need to create three variants of our component, which will be different visual states for our screen. Let's put our versions horizontally, side by side. Now we need to create a visual transition between the variants. Let's select the first variant and click plus to add the transition to the second frame. The transition will be after delay of 1 millisecond and animation will be smart animate with ease out and 2000 milliseconds. 2000 milliseconds is the speed of movement for blobs and blobs will move very slowly. We need to create two more transitions. For the second variant to the third variant, also a delay will be 1 millisecond with the same properties. And from the third variant to the first variant. Perfect. Lastly, we need to play with the arrangement of blobs in different versions. Let's select the second version and change some blobs to create a slightly different visual state. It's up to you to decide how radical the visible difference between states should be. In my case, I introduce a subtle change because I don't want to focus user attention on a visual difference that happens in the background. After all, background is a decoration rather than a functional element. Finally, it's time to test our design. And I will create another frame that will be used for a preview. The size of the test frame will be the same as the size of our component. Let's put our animated mesh gradients inside the test frame align it to the center and add the text hello. Change text color to white and add a nice visual effect, drop shadow. I don't like black shadows, usually I use the same color as the color of a background. It's time to test our design. As you can see, it looks good. Hope it was helpful. Thank you.